Okay, next one, we can go to the slab support bar because we would like to key in the information for the slab support bar. <clears throat> so what you have to do first, as usual, you can add in the new slab support bar, but this is under steel fabric. Okay, you can click on the information given here. Let's say we are referring to these three. So these three uh, pieces of the slab and you can see information here is A8. Okay, so again, make sure you adjust the name here, what is the name of the bar, we can change to A8, and then this one is top, A8 top. So next, you press enter. When you press enter, you have to update the information of A8, what is the same fabric, but item number 3 and number 4 will be automatically updated by the software. Okay, so if you look at the information given here, the left dimension and the right dimension is about one third. This is by default. The arrangement for the slab support bar here is one third from the total length of the slab. Okay, uh, so how you want to key in this information, you can choose either to arrange by beam or to draw the line to arrange. But then if we draw the line by beam here, you may see that the beam is not one piece of the beam. So... For example, let's say I click on this beam. If you see the arrangement by beam, it may stop here because of the column. Okay, so if we choose arrange by beam, it is not automatically identify uh, the support bar from this point to this point. So because they are three span. So what option you can choose is you can choose to draw line to arrange. Okay, at the draw tab.